gonna try to show you a uh, basic wrap outside. Hopefully the uh, the mic isn't picking up too much of the wind. But it's just one way of doing it. You see here, you just start your top, and then run a couple rounds around it, a couple uh, wraps around the stick. I'm using bamboo right now. Um, This is just going to be a straight wrap, and then I'll embellish it later. Do you want to try to keep it nice and tight and parallel to the top? At least for this version. Really, it all just depends on what you're what you're looking for. You know, you want to play around with it. You know, see what see what works, see what you you know what you like. But when doing a straight wrap, the biggest thing is to keep everything nice and tight and close together and even. Alright, too, if I can get you get to see here, if you let it run up on the previous run, it tends to to get in there nice and tight. You see, I've got it wrapped around my hand, kind of like so. It helps keep the tension so it doesn't wear your uh, doesn't wear your your fingers out squeezing on it. Fair warning though, you will get rope burns. I just prefer not to use gloves. So but that's that's basically it. Gives you a nice nice tight wrap. Pardon the uh, the bouncing. Getting a little bit windy out here. So. I'll uh, stop it here and show you when I get it updated. Gotten quite a bit here. Um, I don't know, maybe about eight inches or so. So you can see, kind of digs into your hand a little bit. But now, if this is all you're looking to do, then you want to get this as tight as possible. Um, you can finish off the top with uh, gaucho knots. Or you can make this the hand grip along, you know, and have uh, Turks, Turks head weaves, whatnot. Um, there's a ton of different things you can do with this. Um, your creativity is a limit. But if you're looking to interweave a different color into this, then you want to leave it just a little bit slack. Um, especially on something as hard as, you know, bamboo, there's not, a, not hardly any give. To that wood. Now what I'm looking to do, again putting the bouncing, is use this as a wrist lanyard. So this is just a two color snake weave that I've gone through and interlaced a second color, do it twice. So that's what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna run a couple of orange, uh, a couple of runs of orange through it. So again, if you want just a straight wrap, then leave it as tight as possible. Otherwise, give yourself just a little bit of slack. You can always back it off by twisting it the opposite direction of which you went. Um, okay, so I've done just a little bit of, uh, as I called it, embellishing. And you see here. Just taking some orange paracord attached to my fid and just started running it up through a straight wrap. And something too before you finish off your your straight wrap and make it final, you can just tuck it under a few rows. And that way if you need to loosen it up, you can twist it this way and work that down to give yourself a little bit of slack in the wrap and then tighten it back up as you need to. So in this case I'm going got three and I'm gonna intention is to bring it back down. So going over four, under three, over four, under three. And I'll do that all the way up to the top and then bring it back down. Um, in this case I finished off, it's not completely finished yet, but I've got a a weight bearing loop right here. Um, you can put a carabiner on there or 
uh, one of the water bottle holders can touch that whatever whistle so so a little more done so I'll, uh, I'll get this part done and uh, see where it goes from there okay so my lights fading but to give you guys a quick look See how I've continued the pattern, gotten to the top, done a loop around. This will eventually be snipped and tucked. Now I'm going back down. These are on the opposite side of the loop, so I plan to have the loop on the back. So hopefully, when you're holding it, give you just a little bit extra spot to slip into your uh, back side of your knuckles there doesn't feel too bad so just gives a little little flash so looks pink but it actually is like a, a safety orange and then it'll again have this as a lanyard and eventually having a lanyard so But, as you can see, just plain rubber boot, spar urethane finish, mixing it real nice and shiny. Seals it up good. Got our hand grip. Not really sure what all I'm gonna do with this one, so we'll see. And then, in the top, where it's naturally recessed, I've cut part of it off on the bamboo. You've got the natural, you can see here, you've got the natural base in there. Um, I'll use a grinding bit and kind of level that off on the inside. And then uh, you got a natural inset for a compass, thermometer, yeah, whatever you want to use. So, all right, more when it's finished or closer to it.